Well, you can see behind me the work crews from Rocky Mountain Power working madly trying to get power restored in northern Utah, and they're working bit by bit. Just to the north of me, you can see like this area right here, there is power. But look just right over here, a few hundred yards away from this littered area over here is this home. No power in that neighborhood whatsoever. Many of these families have left. And for those that are surviving and they're trying to stay inside their homes, they're finding ways to survive this chilly, cold night. This is how Jason White is getting through the night. There's no power in his Kaysville home, so it's dinner by candlelight. You can't heat anything up, can't cook anything, can't, the fridge is gone, everything. You, you feel like helpless a little like a pioneer. <laughs> Behind his home, a tree fell on the power line early this morning, knocking out power. And with children in the house, getting heat was a priority. So I went outside battling the wind, got some firewood, and tried to make a fire was the first thing that we had going on, and uh, just bundled up, put on you know layers of clothes. We have a guest fireplace. We've been running off and on today. It's also dark in Heidi Reese's home. They've been without electricity all day long, and so they're making do. We're going to go get lamps and lanterns and light it tonight and send the kids to my sister's house. At Centerville City Hall, the Red Cross is offering help to those without power. These bountiful women took up the offer after a day long struggle, but they'll tough it out tonight. Lots of blankets and hunker down. It'll, it'll be all right. So just lots of blankets. So you're going to go back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, why not? Back at the White Home, a generous neighbor who has power was kind enough to share his electricity. They set up an extension cord to run electricity into the White Home, enough to fire up the furnace. Now we got warmth. We figure if we got that, we can at least, you know, survive. <laughs> Now, those are good neighbors to have. Now, Rocky Mountain Power says it could take another 24 to 48 hours before power is restored. And there's one thing to keep in mind if you're driving tomorrow morning and your gas tank perhaps is on the E, running on empty. A lot of service stations in Davis County are shut down because there's no power. That's something to keep in mind tomorrow morning. In Centerville, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.